Okay guys, so as you can probably hear, it is raining outside. I am in my storage unit right now and we are gonna get down to unboxing this guy right here because you guys have been asking for this for a long time. Today we are unboxing the Gordo animatronic from Spirit Halloween just put out last year. It took me forever to get around to this, but today is the day. So let's go ahead and get down to this. I got a little bit of rain on his box here, which I do not like. Let's take a quick look at the box first. So this is the box for the Gordo animatronic from Spirit Halloween. Let's check out what it says on the front here. Spirit Gordo, mouth quickly pops open for a haunted scare. Lights up with yellow LEDs while playing creepy ambient audio. Stands three feet, eight inches tall, extends up to four and a half feet tall. That's almost four and a half feet tall. Look at the look on that guy's face. I love how the pumpkin guts and the seeds and everything are hanging down. That is so awesome. I think this is such a cool design where he's on the pillar there. In fact, make sure that you guys are subscribed. You give me a thumbs up and you let me know in the comments below what you think of Gordo and if you think I should buy a second one because I just think it would look cool to have one on each side of the path as you're entering a hunt. Let's spin the box around here and take a look at this side here. It just has another picture of Gordo. Gives a little bit more information. As we keep on spinning, we come to the back of the box. As you guys can see, he was $149.99. Now I bought him in a store and I had a 20% off coupon. So I got about 30 bucks off of that price. Here is the story of Gordo on the back here. I'll let you guys look at that and read it for yourself, or you can go to the website to read it. Turn around to the other side here and there are yet more pictures of Gordo. This one over here that looks like he's in action, and this one right here where he is making some sound. I believe he doesn't talk, he just makes, yeah, creepy ambient sound. So there's just a quick look at Gordo's box. That is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and get this thing open here. As usual on the flap of the box, it tells you how you can contact the zombie tech squad. If there's anything wrong with your animatronic, oh my gosh, guys, I am excited already. Check this out. We have the directions. <laughs> it takes a special guy to be excited by directions. I do love how they print their directions in full color though. Oh my gosh, this might be a lot easier than I thought to set up. I've not watched any other setup videos. Let's see. Okay, so we got Gordo's head there. We got a box of goodness here. And then we have apparently Gordo's base. Okay, I'm glad I remember to bring some tools because I figured this stuff would be taped up here. Okay, okay we got a bunch of posts here. This is probably his power cord. Yep. We have clothes. Gordo's clothes. And that's it for what's in the box. Let me go ahead and cut these things off here. If you guys were scared by Gordo in the Spirit Halloween store, Tell me about it in the comments below. I know that he scared me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so jumpy with everything. Even though when I know there's a scare coming, I still jump. It makes for funny videos though, I'll tell you that. See how we get this bag off here. Okay. Oh, I'm getting excited now, guys. Look at this. Gordo's face right there. Heck yes. Okay, move that over there. Check out some directions here. All right, so we got the base. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these tubes. We got the power cord, the clothes. I call them clothes. <laughs> clothes for a pumpkin. And I can feel there's a sensor in there. Where is... Oh, okay, yeah, there's the sensor. So we got everything we need. This looks like it's going to be pretty simple, guys. So we start with the base. Doesn't look like it really matters what's the front or the sides. These are labeled B's and C's. So B's go on the bottom. C's go on the top of those. Okay, there we go. And Gordo goes on top. Okay. What the heck, man? Just when you think something's gonna be easy. Okay, get the little nibs in there. All right, one more. Oh, okay. Here we go. We gotta rock him around a little bit to get him to go down onto the form. 
I swear, this is probably the easiest animatronic I've ever put together, and I'm still having trouble with it. If it's this hard to put together, I can't imagine how hard it's going to be to get him apart. All right, good enough. Hello, Gordo. Connect the IR sensor, and then place the stone fabric. Put on Gordo's clothes. What the heck? <laughs> Only I can make things this difficult. Okay, that's connected. Here's our sensor right there. Let's go ahead and get our plug plugged in. I am sweating like a hog up in this piece. Right there. Turn him on to the sensor. There's elastic on the bottom and Velcro over here to hold him closed to hold his clothes on. Only I can make Velcro difficult. How easy is it? Stick one piece to the other. Okay, there we go. There's Gordo. <laughs> Anything we're missing here? No. Oh wait, we forgot his garnishments here. Um, Gordo must have been hanging out with SpongeBob to get his sea moss all over him. I got sea moss all over me now. All right, I got my portable power here. Hold on, hold on, not yet. <laughs> Holy crap, he still scared me. I knew it was coming. Look at that. Okay, here we go. I love how he flashes his light. Holy crap. <laughs> He is so awesome, guys. Now that's on the table right there. I'll move the table and set him down and we'll take a good look. All right, let's get a close up of him. Look at that, how cool is Gordo? His flashing eyes. I love how you can hear the crows in there. And I love how the guts just hang down. They fall down when he jumps up. Let's watch him again here. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> what a cool design, guys. This is totally an awesome prop. And if we look inside, you can see the guts and all the seeds in there. This is one of the best props they've ever made, in my opinion. And I love how it's all the way around. Like they didn't just put the guts in the front, they put them all the way around. All right, let me turn the lights off here. We'll see how he looks in the dark and I'll set him up with a better background. 